Hi guys, I'm Jitendra from the Office Guide Tutorial. Today we are going to see how we can make a dark theme presentation. So without any further ado, let's directly jump to the video. So here we have an empty slide. I'll right click here, go to layout and change it to blank. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, I will change this background into a dark color background. For that I'll come to format background. So you can see a new window pop in here. I'll come to gradient fill and I'll give a little darker gradient here. So once this is ready, what we need to do, we'll take a rectangle with corners. So here you can see we have option rectangle rounded corners. I'll draw with the random dimension as of now. I'll come to format. I'll change its dimensions to 4.5 in height and 2 in width. For now, I'll just quickly place this in the center. You can just come to format, align, center select this yellow color button here and move it center so you'll get a round corners on the both side so i will take few color palettes here which i have already made so i'll give it a gradient color before we move further i'll just copy it down again so just keeping a backup of this now i'll select this come to gradient fill and we'll need to give a gradient color first stop we'll come to eyedropper and we'll take this dark color here and for the second stop i'll come to the eyedropper and i'll take this light color so we have this thing and you can see there is a blue outline there so what i'll do i'll just come to shape outline and we'll make it no outline so this shape is ready i will do ctrl d to duplicate this and i'll exactly place on it i'll stretch it out a little bit and uh, i will rotate the gradient on this so how to rotate the gradient i will just move this bar this side and the other bar the other side and i will click send to back so what we have you can see the thickness here is different and on the vertical side is different so i'll click on the outside one i'll press ctrl so that it should happen both the sides so i press ctrl and stretch it until you see we are close to this yeah this looks great so here we are with the first shape so i'll select both i'll press ctrl g to group them so i'm going to make a circle i'm going to place it here i'll stretch out a little bit so press ctrl and shift and what i'll do i'll select I'll just duplicate it. I'll tell you why I need that. And I'll keep exactly on the first one. So now I'll be selecting the inside rectangle I made first and one circle. And I'll click merge shape and subtract it. The same thing I will do. I'll select the outer one and select the second circle. That's why I copied it and subtract. So now we can have, we can see we have an empty circle here. Select both of them and I'll press control g and group them now again i'll take the circle so it's better you make one more copy of it i'll keep it here and i'll reduce its size somewhere here i'll make another copy of it so control and drag you can make another copy and you have to apply the same gradient to it so what i'll do i'll reduce its size a bit first first select the inside the circle give it a gradient color and be make sure you have a light color this side and then again i'll select and I'll give a gradient fill now what i'll do i'll rotate the gradient and i'll turn off a shape outline okay i'll just flip around the gradient it, it it looks like it has come out we have to make it the other way it should be inside so i'll flip off this and the other one also i flip yeah, now it looks good it looks like it has the light is coming from this side i'll group this to ctrl z and i'll place it over here the gradient has to be a little darker here yeah that looks great the second one also the light color i'll make it a little dark it's too dark yeah that looks great now what we are going to do double click on this group and copy one circle paste it outside ungroup this just copy one circle delete the other one only one is fine place it again there and stretch it out so that it covers the previous circle and do it send to back now what we are going to do just click on this empty area and we are going to change its color so come to eyedropper select the lights color first and come to again eyedropper and select the little darker color so here we have the gradient now you can see the circle is not placed exactly in the center so i'll just move it around a little bit so once one model is ready we can duplicate it as many times we need so that's why we will be spending time on making one remaining will be the copied one so i'll take a text box now enter text uh, say 100 percent for font i will take font called oswald i'll give it a bold i'll reduce the size a bit and i'll place it here and coming up to the color of green coloring to this Again, I'll come to text option, gradient fill, and we have to give the same gradient which we have given to the back side, means this yellow color. Now you can see it will be there in your library, light yellow, and then the gold. 
so you can see you have a color over here now things will go easier i'll just show you now you have a title and some text here so i'll just copy it again and i'll give it a name title again i'll copy it i will copy the text from here i'll reduce the font size this looks great uh, this is just a simple line i'll copy it and paste this i'm doing just to save the time so here we go with the line i'll copy this text again and place it somewhere here so most of the things are done now just only thing which is left is we have to copy it but before that i will apply some animation to this so now if you see from the top when you open it there will be no like light kind of effect which i will say glow effect so first thing i'll do i'll select the backside circle which is yellow color and i come to animate and i will set it to fade and then i'll come to title i'll click fade again fade everything i'll make fade so now and this also fade now come to the animation pane and whatever you have selected here select everything and click with previous the first one i'll do on click so now we have this thing and the way i click it becomes the light it's, it it gives a light glow effect things will be easier now select everything control d which will give you a duplicate and place it somewhere here and again press control d and d again so now you can see we have four let us go for three now because you need more another color scheme here i will select this yellow here and again i'll pick up this light color first and then again click here and pick up the second color same goes to title i'll come to text option gradient again first lighter then dark so this is also changed same thing goes here also so i click jump to save the time here we go now you can see first second and third so this is the way you can make very easy dark theme infographics in powerpoint i hope you like this tutorial and and we create similar excited tips and trick videos every week please go and click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video update from us thank you for watching this video